All right, coming to you live from the aquarium corner today. What I wanted to do was do a quick video on this particular stone. So if you have never used these before, these are absolutely amazing for clear water uh, and giving a live beneficial bacteria culture to any aquarium. So my original use for this was in a 65 gallon goldfish tank. I had a few goldfish and as you know, they're messy, um, even if you just have a couple of them. So this stone helped keep that water clear and wonderful and helped cut down on my water changes. So I just bought a new one. I have this little eight gallon here and I had reordered the same size that I normally would get for the goldfish tank, which I no longer have. This one is way too big <laughs> for the little eight gallon here. So the nice thing about this is that it's almost like a pumice stone. You can break this up into smaller pieces. Just make sure you don't have any um, uh, sharp shards sticking out to, to harm the fish. But what I'm going to do with this is uh, is uh, take a hammer to it with, a, with a, a screwdriver and just break it up into smaller pieces and use it as part of my substrate. Um, so uh, what I love is that it uh, lasts for several years. The more it is in the tank, the more bacteria get released and it's also just got that really porous um, texture for storing good bacteria. The other nice thing, if you've got freshwater shrimps like I do, uh, the algae can sometimes tend to grow into these little porous holes here and it just makes a really nice thing uh, for them to have some extra food blooming in there. So absolutely love this, but again, make sure that you get the right size for your tank. I know they have some smaller sizes that would <laughs> be a better fit for this smaller eight gallon bio orb. Um, but definitely wanted to say that this had been a tank saver for very large tanks, and I'm sure it's gonna be amazing for this small one too.